Hello people in the house out there and today we we'll talk about Michael D. Higgins' Christmas uh, match. I suppose it's out today it says. So I don't know, I haven't watched it. Uh, it's out 22 minutes ago it says. So let's just have a look and see what's going on. I will put a link in the description just to say it everybody. If you want to watch this. So we're just watching and see what I think of it. Also oh, five minutes wasted. <laughs> No matter the whole As President of Ireland, Ultron Ahead, may I send greetings and my warmest wishes for a peaceful and happy Christmas and New Year to all of the Irish and those interested in matters Irish, wherever they may be. Mar Ultron Ahead in his mid Lamadan and Dina Nolan, Agasmaya Queen Don Avni, a current old wind and the head, Agastov Shoe that will seem Aka in Gorsi Erenaka, Koma Kawish. Christmas is a season of celebration and to joy. It is a time to join with our loved ones, a time to reflect upon the year gone past and the year ahead, a time to give thanks for friendships and families, and a time to share our achievements and dreams of achievement. Christmas is a moment of hope and a revival of hope, a moment to find encouragement, even in the most difficult and trying of circumstances. Amidst the darkness of winter, it is a moment when we can seek to renew our sense of possibility for a future shared with others, one full of opportunity and endless potential. Christmas, recalling as it does the birth of Christ as an infant to his mother and father in the most humble of circumstances, insecure and facing flight, is a time to remember the vulnerabilities that should be shared and addressed by us all. Vulnerabilities experienced by those who are at risk, excluded, and so many for whom there is no place at the inn. In Ireland today, far too many of our people are missing the necessary securities of home. There are those who are concerned for their access to health services and education, for the right to voice their concerns and experience full participation in our republic. So as we recall our shared vulnerabilities this Christmas, let us resolve to forge together a renewed sense of solidarity, one shaped to fit and encompass all our citizens. There are many within our society who work tirelessly to support and stand in solidarity with those who are marginalised or in need. Throughout 2018, I encountered as President of Ireland so many generous people whose dedicated work and belief in an active and fully engaged citizenship mark them out as role models in life. On behalf of all our generations, I thank you. It is from those groups and individuals we can take inspiration as we envision and build our shared future. The story of Christmas is one of a baby born in Bethlehem who brought peace and joy to the world. Today, Many of our fellow citizens across the world live within the dark shadows of conflict, persecution, violence, injustice and poverty. As global citizens, we must never hesitate to raise our voice in union with all those who pursue a more just world, making new connections with each other and with the vulnerable planet we all inhabit. To our peacekeepers abroad and their families, I send a special thanks and greeting and to all those services who will make our Christmas possible in a safe, peaceful and enjoyable way. We must also ensure there is room in our inn for those who, like Mary and Joseph 2,000 years ago, have undertaken long and difficult journeys in search of safety and a future of hope. Hospitality is the great universal and unifying value that connects all of the faith systems and languages of the world. It is appropriate, then, that we should respond to the changing pattern of migration into our country in a spirit of openness and hospitality, welcoming and supporting those who wish for a better life or simply for a life free from fear. So as we leave behind the dark days of midwinter and move towards a season of new beginnings and new possibilities, let us do so with a renewed commitment to social solidarity. Let us ensure that all those who are vulnerable in Ireland and across the world do not walk alone, but know that we are willing to travel.
travel beside them on their difficult journeys, their journeys of hope. I am honoured as we enter 2019 to continue to serve the people of Ireland. Is more on our domain, I was waiting to eager governors in India. Lano to ride the very governors of winter day. We acknowledge your content as our lead for Ames to wash our it and fun. I wish you all a peaceful Christmas and a happy new year. Bear back. So that was President uh, Michael e. Higgins. Uh, uh, things I picked out from there, he's changed a lot since last year, his message. Uh, he's talking about communities and he's talking about different things. But uh, I don't think he should be really focusing on the national world because we have an emergency in this crisis, uh, in this country, in this crisis. Well, it is a crisis, an emergency in this country where there's people lying dying on the streets of Dublin. And he's on about taking migrants in, which is not really the best thing to be doing, because people, that's the last thing we want, more people coming in. We can't house our own people without taking more people in. So I think he should have rephrased that a tiny bit. Like, if we get uh, more houses built, obviously we take some people in. I have no problem taking people in. But there's just no place to put anybody now. Like, there's no houses at all anymore. So, uh, yeah, it was a good speech all over. I actually say that's better than last year's one, because last year's one, I think, was just licking up out everybody, trying to get their votes. But, uh, yeah, you done well. So, yeah, I will put the link into the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and bye.